Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a new business to help share tips and, and advice within their industry. And today I have Eloise. And Eloise, welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah. Why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about yourself and what it is that you do. Okay. My name is Eloise Hudson. I'm with Atlantic Home Equity. I'm in the reverse mortgage department there and I have been doing reverse mortgages for 10 years. I'm an expert in reverse mortgages. Any question that you might have about a reverse mortgage, I can answer for you, and I am passionate about the program. Okay, I'm going to ask you a few questions now, and so hopefully you can answer them, and uh, why don't we get started. So why don't you explain what is a uh, reverse mortgage? A reverse mortgage is a home equity loan where a homeowner who's over 62 can convert their equity out of their home into a loan that has no monthly payment. And with that money that they receive, they could do uh, any number of things. They could buy a new home, they could help their children buy a home, they could buy a new car, they could use that money for uh, their living expenses and or if they uh, need home health care, that's another great reason to have or to take a reverse mortgage. A reverse mortgage, as I'm saying, is a home equity loan with no monthly payment. We call it a home equity conversion mortgage, where you can convert equity out of your home into a loan with no payment. Okay. So who exactly would be a good candidate for a reverse mortgage? A good candidate would be someone who is actually looking to stay in their home and live in their home as long as possible. If you were thinking of selling your home in two years, that wouldn't be somebody who's actually a, a good candidate for a reverse mortgage. But if you're planning on living in your home for another 10 to 15 years, then you would maybe consider a reverse mortgage. The uh, thing about a reverse mortgage is though that you can sell the home at any time. Uh, you can also refinance the home if you wanted, but you could always pay the loan off. You can make a payment. There's no prepayment penalty. But one of the biggest reasons people take a reverse mortgage is so that they can live more comfortably in their own home and actually have a little bit of an infusion of extra cash flow. Okay. Well, that sounds almost too good to be true. There's got to be some drawbacks. Can you elaborate on maybe what are some of the drawbacks? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so there, there are a few drawbacks, uh, not many. Many people think that uh, the, the fees are too high, but if you think about it, uh, if you sold your home, the fees would be high. Um, you'd have to move. You pay 6% to sell your home uh, in order to stay in your home. There are costs uh, involved. Uh, but one of the other largest drawbacks of having a reverse mortgage or, or looking into a reverse mortgage is your children. Many times, especially women, would like to leave a legacy and would like to leave the home to their children. Well, you can still do that. It's just a security instrument. You never give up title to your home. You never make a monthly payment. You never have to move. And so it's, it's a great uh, financial tool to help you with your financial planning. Okay. Well, that's really good information, and I'm sure there's a lot more that uh, you could go on and on about. But uh, if any of you out there are interested in more information uh, about uh, reverse mortgages, um, I will have Eloise's website at the end of this video, and be sure to check that out. If you are a uh, first-timer here to uh, uh, the webisodes and you would like to subscribe, please uh, click the link below here. And if you want to continue this conversation online, feel free to email in a question here in uh, uh, Eloise would be happy to uh, get in touch with you and uh, follow up. So that's it for this week. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.